A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to make a starry night. Yes, uh, we'll have a pitch black night or a sky in which we'll have 100 stars and they'll be blinking. Mm, let me show you a published preview by pressing control and on my keyboard guys. Within no time guys you'll see that uh, the screen gets filled up with 100 stars and these stars guys will be blinking you'll see they actually uh, lose and get gain their alpha you know after every uh, small time interval so guys uh, it's a starry night where you see the stars blinking and guys this effect was done entirely through action script if I actually remove the published preview and show you the stage there's absolutely nothing on the stage it's a pitch black uh, dark stage with the background color is black the size is 550 by 400 which is the default guys and there's absolutely nothing on the stage which means that everything that had that has happened on the stage was fired off with the action script let me show you a published preview once again and then I'll explain the uh, action script to you guys guys within no time the screen gets filled up with 100 stars uh, and you can see them blinking very nicely okay right alright guys let me show you the library first in my library I have a symbol a symbol of a star guys I'm not going to explain how to make a symbol okay if you really want to make a star symbol all you need to do is click on this tool alright which is the poly star tool and make a star now this star that I made is uh, roughly of the size 17 by 17 pixels that's the width and the height okay so create a star okay select the star say right click and say convert to symbol okay once you create a symbol guys then you, you should be doing an AS linkage for, to, for guys who don't know how to do a AS linkage let me first remove the AS linkage I'll do the AS linkage once again so once your star is a symbol guys it should appear like this in your library then you should be saying right click go to properties and then check this uh, option which says uh, export for action script and then guys you're supposed to give a class name I chose star you can choose your choose your own uh, name and then say ok ignore the warning say ok once again and guys this symbol symbol of a star then gets uh, gets the AS linkage and the name of the class that I've chosen is star once the AS linkage is complete guys then you are uh, you know then you can pretty much easily uh, pull it up in onto the stage through the action script let me open up my actions panel and explain how things were done guys okay guys what I've done is in line number four I've created a timer uh, I've created a new instance of a timer so my timer is firing off every 10 uh, milliseconds okay this new instance of the timer that I've created is firing off every 10 milliseconds guys every time you create a timer you need to start it otherwise it doesn't work so immediately I have started the timer okay then we need to add an event listener to the timer guys okay we're telling that it's a timer event and uh, the name of the function is loop right and let's see what that function loop does guys through the action script I'm able to pull up the star on the stage I need to say variable my star is equal to new star guys I don't know how many of you actually know how to do it but this is the way we actually pull up objects from the library onto the stage we need to create a variable that will hold the new star and beg your pardon and then we'll need to add that star onto the stage through the add child method okay so this is how you actually pull up the star onto the stage it's the same thing as pulling up the symbol and placing it on the left top corner of the stage like this it's absolutely the same thing guys these two lines of script where you create a variable that will hold the new star and add it to the stage so line line lines 11 and 12 do the same thing as the drag and drop that I've just done okay then guys uh, since through the add child method the star gets placed 
in the top left corner it gets stuck in the top left corner I need to ensure that the new star coming in should not be placed there so what I'm saying is my star which is the variable that's holding the new star guys should have an X or an X coordinate of math dot random into 550 guys the stage width is 550 so I want my star to be placed anywhere across the width similarly I would want my star to be placed anywhere across the height of 400 that is 400 is the height guys guys if you remember the default is 550 by 400 that is the stage size 550 by 400 so through lines 11 and 12 guys I'm able to place the star onto the stage through lines 13 and 14 I'm able to place it anywhere on the stage because I know that the width and the height of my stage are set to default which is 550 by 400 okay so what I've done is every time the timer fires off and which is 10 millisecond uh, guys a new star is pulled up and is added to the stage through the add child method the X and Y would differ every time and that would depend on the math.random function so the math.random function guys this much is able to pull up a number between 0 and 1 if, and if I multiply it with 550 uh, the number is always between 0 and 550 so the width of the stage and the uh, height of the stage so the star is placed anywhere on the stage guys then guys you need to be good at the display list so this tutorial is not a very simple tutorial it's not a very basic tutorial so guys all those folks watching my tutorial who are familiar with the display list understand the display list is nothing but a list of all the items that are uh, visible on the st you know on your project and uh, every single item has an index the item that was placed first has an index of zero uh, then one and then two so on and so forth so what is happening here is through uh, you know line number 15 says that please get the child at math.random into 100 so since we have 100 stars all right I'm, I'm asking flash to pick up randomly any one star out of those hundred stars through the math run random into hundred uh, and then after having picked that specific star any one of the hundred stars I'm telling that I would want the alpha of that specific star to be at 0.5 all right so that's dimming that's dimming the brightness and then what I'm saying out here is that get child at math.random into 100 I'm picking up yet another star and then I'm making the alpha 1 so here I'm making the alpha 0.5 in the other case I'm making the alpha 1 so basically it would apply to randomly any of the stars guys to randomly any of the stars and that will give it an appearance of blinking alright alright and through line number 17 guys I'm ensuring that as soon as 100 stars fill up the entire screen of the stage I want that the 101st star which will have an index of 100 should get removed so using the remove child at 100 it basically means the 101st star the moment it hits the stage will get removed so although the timer is firing unlimited times it's in an endless loop guys it would still ensure that the moment the 101st star hits the stage it gets removed immediately so no matter how many times the timer fires it will still not have more than 100 stars <coughs> beg your pardon guys I know this is not a very basic tutorial guys this tutorial uh, assumes that you have a good knowledge of uh, math.random the get child at method the uh, you know the remove child at and you also know through action script how to add uh, you know uh, movie clips from the library onto the stage so unless and until guys you know all this unless and until you understand how the timer actually fires so probably this tutorial uh, isn't meant for you but if you are uh, you know 
pretty good at uh, action script you are not completely new you might be able to understand what I've just done it's a very nice trick guys so uh, feel free to use this code guys to make a starry blinking you know pitch black night where the stars twinkle 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 little star let's take a publish preview once again guys control enter on my keyboard in no time in no time the screen gets filled up with 100 stars and they start blinking very very nice and guys you see in the output we get uh, some message now I wouldn't want to take you too deep in, into that but guys please understand that as long as it's not a compiler error or a warning it's absolutely alright it will not display on your website that's okay please ignore the uh, output message no harm done alright guys so I hope you like this tutorial guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you very soon with yet another tutorial in Flash and Action Script 3. You have a good day guys. Peace. Bye bye.